Hi everyone. Welcome to Lunch with Laura. I'm Laura Lee Calais from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and I've been with Stampin' Up! for 20 years, coming up in August. Now, today we're not doing a card. I am going to show you the uh, ins and outs of our new catalog and kind of walk you through so you know where things are. So if you have your catalog, I'm going to go get it and take a walk with me through the newest catalog that Stampin' Up! has to offer. Here is the front of our catalog. And this is, this catalog is so totally different from anything that we've had before. Um, it has the Stampin' Up! logo up here and the annual catalog, and it's good from May 1st, yesterday, of 2024 to April, the end of April, 2025. And on the front, you're going to see people gathering together. They're visiting, they're having fun, and it brings community together. It's a great place. I've made some awesome friends through Stampin' Up! Now, when you open it up, of course, you'll see that uh, Shelly and Sarah are featured right there. The um, co-founder, CEO, board, uh, I don't know what all their uh, titles are these days, but anyway, those are the two important, the most important people in Stampin' Up! Once we get into the table of contents, it's going to start off with showing that there are three kinds of stampers. We have stampers that like step-by-step -step crafting. They don't know quite where to start. Maybe they're brand new to stamping. And this is an awesome way to get started. You can select from our kits. You can select our subscription, which is called Paper Pumpkin. This is very user friendly in that you can order for one month or you can order for 12 months. You can suspend it if you're too busy or out of town. And um, of course you can stop your subscription at any time. Then you get into what we call the casual stamper. The casual stamper is one that they may select from our um, cards and envelope sets that are put together and all they have to do is add some embellishments to it. They, they tend to uh, stamp for special occasions, someone's birthday, Christmas, this, that, and the other. Then, and this shows you, on, on, and this is on page, let me get my specs on, 16 and 17. These are the top 10 crafting essentials that you will need. So you're going to need a good pair of paper snips, some adhesive. We've got several to choose from. These are our, our dimensionals. They're little foam uh, pads that are sticky on both sides. Then you have your ink pads. We even have some small ones that would help you get started. You'll need a couple of blocks. These are the acrylic blocks that you mount your stamps on. Maybe a punch, envelopes, a way to clean your stamps, which there's either the chamois that's shown here or the, um, we have another cleaner that goes with a spray mist and it has a dry side and a wet side. And I mark so that I can remember it, but there's a little uh, sun in one corner and raindrops in the other so that you know which one you would spray the mist on. 
and then you would just take your stamp and clean like so and then dry it off. Oops. And then you need me to tell you and what to get, to guide you, to teach you. This is something new that we have this year. This, they call them Inferior, I'm not pronouncing it right, but Pax. It's a little something extra. They're die cuts that you punch out. They're already, you know, die cuts, so all you have to do is punch them out with your fingers and then um, add them to your card. They're not self-stick, so you can use the dimensionals to pop them up or whatever you want. On page 20 and 21, they're showing some of the things that you can do with the uh, packs of die cuts give you some ideas for your cards. And then they show you the basic card design. Now, this is something new. They have added templates throughout, every now and then you'll see one throughout the catalog that's by itself. But here are a bunch of different things to give you ideas. And if you don't have um, the type of uh, cutout that they have here, maybe you don't have that size circle. Use something else. Use a flower, use a leaf. There are many ways that you can go, but you're still getting the, the basic design and it, it helps get you started. The color families are all color coordinated. We have stamps, ink, refills, paper, embellishments, ribbons that go with and perfectly match our colors. Now, they're not in every single color, but they're in a lot that you can pick and choose from. We also have stamps for any occasion. Now, you'll notice that these stamps are large. That's because they're new. When you get farther on back, you'll see stamps that are carried, have been carried over from the last catalog, and they'll be small, and I'll point that out to you. But here's some, like, birthday cards, thank yous, love and support, and then just a card just because. We're also bringing back some Memory Plus items. We've had a few in the catalog, but we are going to be having more scrapbooking items. So stay tuned and um, you'll see those coming around. One thing I want to point out, there are quite a few QR codes in the catalog. So this is going to um, show you more detail about every, every place there is a QR code. Now, if you're not familiar with them, I think this is the way the world's going. A lot of restaurants have them instead of menus, and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. What you're going to do is on your phone, you're going to open up your camera app, okay? Then you're going to move it close to the QR code. Now, it's not showing, it's too bright to show, but what's happening is the QR code gets a little tiny block around it, and then at the bottom it says open in Chrome. this is going to be way too um, you're not going to be able to see this but anyway this is 
pocket scrapbooking where you have little um, places like three by five, four by six cards that you can slide in and then add to it with your pictures. And then I'm gonna talk a minute about the Avid Stample. This is our third level of stamping and these are people that like to collect. She has her little storage thing and all her paper where she can get to it. They are constantly crafting and making cards and maybe scrapbook pages too. Next we get into our suites and there's the QR code for that and when you do that on your phone you can see all the suites together. But let's, let me answer the question about what is a suite. We have suites that have one stamp set, one die, or there could be two. You have embellishments and you have the DSP or our designer paper. So this gives you an idea of what it looks like. You also have a suite that might have two stamp sets. Do you have to buy both of them? No, indeed. But if you want to, this one happens to be an image only. There are no words. Down here you have the words. This is called Unbounded Beauty, uh, Love and Flowers of Beauty. They both come with dies. You can order them and together and get 10% off in what we call a bundle. Or you can order the whole suite, which includes embellishments, specialty paper, and our DSP here. Now, all of them don't have the specialty paper. And sometimes I don't order the entire suite. However, if you want everything, there's one number up at the top that'll tell you what to put in when you're placing your order. And you'll get all of these things. Down at the bottom, it tells you what the, um, where the, what the stamp sets are, if you want just that stamp set and uh, die, you can order that individually. Sometimes I'll do that and not order everything else. This is our cut and emboss machine. It cut die cuts using our metal dies. It will also emboss using our folders and I'll get to those in a second. On page 73 we've got a, a hybrid set and I believe there are three in this catalog, two that carried over. The hybrid means <clears throat> that you get your you can bundle this all up and get 10% off and you would get a stamp set, your dies, and an embossing folder. And they all work together and it is the coolest thing ever. Now we have our Encore products. These, the Encore, are smaller pictures it, they are carried over from the last catalog. So you don't get a bundled price, but you can order them individually. So right here, this um, Adoring Hearts is another one of the hybrids. And you'll see some come with um, a stamp set and a punch. So that, that whole section are the carryovers from last year. 
and uh, I think it's great they put those all together. Now, there are two types of stamps that we have. We have the photo pollen stamps. These are clear see-through stamps. And let me see if I have something to put behind this so you can see it a little better. So those are your stamps and they are great for positioning things and doing what we call two-step stamping. Then we have the red wobble. And this is the way that they come on a rubber sheet like this that you punch out. We have a label that goes on top. I did the happy birthday so you can see how it looks when it's finished. And so those are our, re our clear stamps. Okay. This was the cleaning, um, it's called Stamp, Stamp and Scrub, and you would use the stamp and mist to spray on it and clear your, uh, clean your stamps. Okay, right here, under that word template that I have there, is a little bitty card idea, and it also shows you a color on the color wheel. You're going to be hearing more about that, too. We have some stamps that are reversible. You stamp one image, you turn it over, ink it up, and stamp again. Our blocks are here, and that's on page 83, 82 and 83. Now, these are some of our image-only stamps. We've got stamps like these two back here. Like I said, they do not have words. So you would use a different stamp set to put your sentiment on. And then we have um, sentiment-only stamps. And this just means that they are words and I know you can't probably read that, but anyway, those are all. And some of them are specific for birthdays and stuff, but usually there'll be um, a lot of different holidays or events, occasions that you can use those for. As I mentioned a minute ago, uh, you can do two-step stamping, which they are showing you how to do here. There are some good men uh, sets in the catalog. This one, Trusted Tools, I've done a couple of videos on, and um, it they turned out adorable. So they're um, they're giving us something to um, make cards with for those men in your life that don't have any hobbies. Okay, here are some stamps down here that are carried over. And this is our background stamp. In fact, I showed it just a second ago. We were given this, everyone um, that attended our convention on stage received this stamp and it's called Leaf Collection. So it's just one stamp and then they have other background stamps down here, and that would be the leaves would be considered a background stamp. And then we have our the way that we store things. That's important. If you don't have your um, items in an orderly manner, you're not as going to to use them as much as you would. If I have mine out displayed so that I can see almost everything I have and 
I use everything all the time because it's right there. It's not in a drawer somewhere. But these are just some options. Now, here we go again with the uh, memories. Uh, they have done a couple of scrapbook pages. And the, like I said, there's going to be more coming. You can get uh, an assortment of 12 by 12 uh, cardstock in the color collection that you choose. And then we've got uh, cards that can be made for kids, which is always fun. In fact, get your kids stamping. They will love it and be creative like adults can't be. On page 110, it shows our foil and metallic papers and how they're, some of them are used. On the next page, 112 and 13, this is where our ribbons are. So it'll give you the, it'll give you a number and you can see what it looks like when it's being used. There is also this little rectangle down here at the bottom. We have always, to my knowledge, given selected one product that when it was bought, part of the proceeds went to a charity. So um, they have not decided which one it is yet, so that'll be coming up pretty soon, I would think. And I believe $3 of um, whatever you ordered, the proceeds would go to a charity. Next, page 114 and 15 are our embellishments. These are the things that really glitz up your cards. And I've been called a queen of glitter before in my life, so I like bling. Next, we have on page 16, 116 and 17, all of our adhesives from glue dots to a tape runner, liquid glue, dimensionals. So it's all right here together. After the um, adhesives, they have a um, section that shows different techniques and how to do them. And of course, you can always let me know and I can either demonstrate one or have a one-on-one -on -one with you and show you what to do. But there are several different techniques in here, even shaker cards. Now, I'm going to flip over here. This is another one of my favorites, our embossing folders. They're found on page 128 and 129. These are so much fun and they liven up your cards. You can use the whole thing when you run it through and make a, um, your card stock is embossed. So with the ferns, you, you don't have to use the whole thing. Use strips, use cut out what you want. There are lot, lots of different ways you can use them and it really adds texture to your card and um, I, just, I like the way it makes it look. Now we have our stamping blends and our markers. Let's see, the markers are down here and you can uh, get all four, every color we have in the markers and there's one code right here. The blends and the markers each have um, two ends, such as the bullet point or the brush. And on the markers, they have one that you can actually write with and then color with the other end. Okay, here is our color wheel. This, to my knowledge, has never been in 
a Stampin' Up! catalog, but it is a great resource to put different colors together. They have them broken down into the four uh, kinds of colors that go together. Some of these you may remember from school. Some, like the um, triad, was totally new to me. And it gives you samples so that you can look and see what it means when it's monochromatic or what it means when it's analogous. So use this little, um, these little examples at the bottom and then you can, you know, spread your wings and go out in a different direction. Here are all of our colors. We have them um, divided into brights, regals, neutrals, oops, I missed one, and our subtles. This is the color group that I started out with. You can, from this page, excuse me, <coughs> you can order cardstock, so if you wanted Calypso Carl cardstock, you would go right here and use that number to order. Then the classic, our pads that are like this, where they open like a compact, and then you slide it back. And once you're done, you just pull this forward and snap it closed. They also have re-inkers to make sure that your um, inks are always, your ink pads are juicy. And then you can order the Stampin' Blends individually down there. We do have two sets of five colors that rotate in and out every two years. So this was last year's in colors. They were good from 23, and they'll go out when the new catalog comes out in 25. These are the yummy colors we've got for this year, and I am so excited because I just love them. I think you will, too. And um, this gives you some different ways of ordering what you, what you want. Your uh, basics, which now include basic beige, very vanilla, and basic white, along with um, basic black, can be ordered there. Okay, now we're coming to the index. Now you can see the things that I have already purchased in pink, and then I put a little star by some things I wanted to punch out. If you're looking for adhesives, they're all in one location. The, I'm gonna have to turn the light on, it's getting dark in here. Um, your embellishments, and it'll tell you where to find what you're looking for. This section has all your dyes. Your embossing folders are all together. Then it tells you about uh, heat embossing with your powder, your Versamark, uh, Versamark pad, and then uh, you have a heat tool to set it. The inks and colors. The memory keeping, which would be your, under your scrapbooking things. Then your papers, envelopes, card stock, designer paper, and they're all listed. So as you go through, you can see them, and if you write down something you like, and then you wanna come back to it, you can look it up in the index. We've got specialty paper, punches, the ribbons are together, and then a list of all the stamp sets. And then the last part is your tools and storage. Your cut and emboss machine is right down here at the bottom. And your take your pick tool. 
This is an awesome tool that can be used for so many things. It comes with different loops tips. You've got a little spatula there, a pokey tool is what we call it. This one has adhesive so that you can pick up your embellishments and place them where you want. And then there's another one that has a stylus end on it. Okay, if you are interested or know someone that is interested in joining, here is the QR code. For the month of May, we are going to be running a special, joining special, and the joining special is $99, and for, with that, you get a few business supplies, you get to make up your basic kit, but also they are including the in-color stamp pads and um, the, uh, the whole kit and caboodle is worth $209, but you only pay $99. That's pretty cool. If you're interested, go to the QR code down at the bottom and you'll see that. Then it also talks about having a gathering. We used to call these workshops, and now we're just calling them gathering where you're getting friends, family together to all stamp at once. And you can earn hostess benefits with that. And then we have our angel policy. The angel policy is where they're reminding you that if you sell any of your cards, which you're allowed to do, but you do need to put the Stampin' Up! logo on the card. Now, this QR code is where you can find our online exclusives. Online exclusives are sets stamp sets and dies and sometimes some other items that have never before been in the catalog. Although now they are putting uh, a few things that are on, that have been carried over, but they can only be purchased at the online store. And they're called online exclusives. And they're really some great things there. Okay, I think that about wraps up everything that I wanted to tell you. Not everything, but it gives you an idea of where you can find things and how the catalog is laid out. We will be having host codes for another few months, so be sure to let me know if you'd like to have a gathering and you can earn host rewards with that. And... Next week, I hope to be back with a card showing one, some of our new stamp sets. Have a great day. Come back and visit me. I hope this has been helpful to you. Remember, you can reach me at my website or by email, laura at stampinatthebirdnest.com, or just go to my website, stampinatthebirdnest.com. And you can contact me, you can shop, you can look at previous um, cards that I have made. And uh, anyway, I will see you next week. Have a great weekend. Mm, love you. Come back and see me. <laughs>